Okay, what is this whole setup here? What is that called? Forget that it's got fractions. It's called an equation. Okay, let's make it a little scary. It's got fractions. You're used to seeing like, or something, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do this one with fractions. Same steps. Exact same steps, okay? I'm going to write it over here so I can keep it a little bit bigger. Okay, what is our first step? Uh, okay, let's start over. What's our first step? needs to go away from the X, right? Put the X in the jail. Okay, now how do I get rid of what's with the X? What is with the X? Uh, one third. One third. How is the one third of the X being attached? Okay. Yes, they're together, so they're being multiplied. You smash it. How am I undoing them? By divorcing them. Yes, now, watch. A fraction is really just a division. So I'm going to make a division problem because I'm going to divide by the same thing, right? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Now, anything divided by itself is one. Is that true? Yes. Because if I do multiplying by the reciprocal, I'm, instead of dividing, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. Is that correct? One times three is three times one is three over three is really one. That's why when you undo this multiplication here and divide it, it gets rid of it. It just gives me a one. And then I don't need the one, I just keep the x. Is that true? Yes. Are you with me so far? Yes. Okay, now, now I did something on this side, right? So am I finished? I got I got to keep it still balanced, right? Yeah. So, what am I going to do over here to this? Um, what did I do over here? It looks weird because you're seeing a fraction and a fraction within a big fraction, right? That's why I want to remind you that when you see this, it just means division still. Okay, so I'm going to take some more room down here. I'll do it over here. I'm not going to try to do all that in my head, okay? But what it really is, is three, how many holes is this? Three, how many left over? Two thirds, right? That's this. Yes? Okay, if I cut out the thirds, I'm going to cut out the thirds. How many thirds can I cut out of here? How many do I got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So let's see if I'm right. Now, we're going to do it the, the, the uh, algorithm way. So, I need to turn three and two thirds into what? Before I can start messing with fractions, if it's a mixed number, I need to do what to it? Yeah, three times three is nine. Nine plus two is? Yes? Divide by one third. Yes? So that's really gonna be 11 over three times three over one. Yes? What's 11 times three? Three times one? What's 33 divided by three? 33 divided by three is 10. Wait, no, 11. I was about to say. Now, how many pieces did we count out up here? And then what do we get when we did the algorithm way? 11. So x equals 11. If you're still confused, put this back in for x and do 1 3rd times 11 and see if this is what you get. If you get confused, okay? Don't be 
scared of these equations just because they have a fraction in there. You're still going to do the exact same steps because you're going to see two questions like this on your unit 7. Okay? You're going to see two of them like this. All right. Do we understand how I got this one? Yes. Do you understand how I got this one? Yeah. I used the model here and I used the algorithm here. Yes? All right. Please do not erase it because I need to see it. Write the new one right up top. So you can have room. Okay, how are you going to get rid of the five? How are they being held together? So how are we gonna undo it? They're smashing. So, so they're gonna. Okay. So we're gonna divide. What does five need to divide by to give you one? Yeah. So draw that. Five. Now yeah, draw this out. They cancel each other because now you sit one at. Do the same thing over here. You divide it up by five over here, so you do over here. Yes. Now, this one you're going to have to actually set up, like on the side. Okay? Got it? Uh, okay. I did the 